Ah, welcome back. Surf launching Southern Africa. Sometimes I get some cool kit to play with. Check out this boat. 16 meter semi displacement aluminium cruising cat. Um, two Volvo Penta, 380 horsepower each, duo props, and twin turbos on each one. Hey, what a machine! This thing is so fast and stable that even in these inclement conditions with uh, big swells running from the southeast, we completed the journey in 15 hours or so. Incredible experience. You could just stand in the front of that boat at full speed and drink a, a cup of coffee. It was really, really that stable and that effective. All right, Paul Manny. Right, that was the first part of our mission, getting that boat up there. Second part of the mission was to do sea trials and show these people, these skippers, where the channels were and all that kind of stuff. And take the entire village out to the waves and back. All part of the jaw. Well, if you want to know the verdict, that is one hell of a seaworthy boat. Uh, during the surf trials, that's actually not me driving the boat at this point. That's Osvaldo, the MSC skipper. I'm on another boat trying to use the camera to film and record this thing, how it goes through the waves. But yeah, I was getting bounced about. I was on a stupid diving duck, nine meters or something. But man, oh man. And those guys were just having the time of their lives. That boat is so stable. Anyway, then it was time to hit a wave. So well, luckily one day the waves came up a little bit and there is a channel through. So we decided to take on about a two meter wave or a set. And I'm telling you that boat didn't even feel that, that swell. We just, we hit the wave as it was breaking. The nose lifted over it. We didn't even feel anything. It just went straight through and out the back. So yeah, it's very boring in the surf. Extremely capable people carrying machine. But after a fantastic week of completing our missions, Dave and Chad, everybody, thanks for helping. And uh, then it was time to leave that beautiful place, Pomeni, and head back to the big city, Maputo. So we headed off, and we learned a hell of a lot on this trip. The first thing we learned was, what I learned was, fish are weird. Fish are in patches of water. So for like 100 kilometers, we wouldn't see a thing. And then next thing it'd be for 20 kilometers, just full of fish. And then we'd go for another... 50 kilometers and no fish and next thing there's fish like crazy again but this is the problem because we were catching fish we should never have been catching fish because we were meant to get back to Maputo that evening which we did but man oh man did we cut it fine and we nearly got caught in this yeah so we got in just in time 
as we were coming into Maputo and it's getting darker, sky goes this gold color, which you must take note of ever. Every time I've been caught in bad, bad weather, the sky is a gold color before the mayhem unleashes. Anyway, this was a bad storm, eh? 40 odd people lost their lives, many boats were capsized, and uh, it was very bad. It was known as the storm of the century for Maputo. I'm not sure if it's been a worse one since then, but the takeaway, the moral of the story is stick to the plan. Thanks for watching.